In this episode, you'll be meeting Megan McAllister, who was the fiancé of Philip Markoff, sometimes known as the Craigslist Killer, who was charged with the armed robbery and murder of Julissa Brisman in a Boston hotel room on April 14, 2009, as well as other armed robberies of escorts he met on Craigslist. Megan met Markoff when they were both hospital volunteers. Markoff was in Boston University Medical School, and the couple had planned their wedding for August 14, 2009. Markoff and McAllister were arrested on April 20, 2009 on their way home from the Foxwoods Casino in Connecticut. McAllister had no idea of Markoff's secret life and continued to believe in his innocence until she broke off their relationship after a prison visit in June 2009. Next, you'll be listening to roughly one hour and ten minutes of Megan McAllister's police testimony in the original raw audio format. And just for the record, I'm Sergeant Detective Damon Duff. It's April 20th. It's 3.03 p.m. Uh, besides us introducing ourselves and asking you some biological information, uh, a demographic, I should say, mm -hmm. demographic information, sorry. Uh, we haven't had any real conversation, correct, uh, about... Right. Because we, we told, basically, we told you we want to talk to you about some ongoing right. incidents. Correct. Right. right. And as we explained, we want to talk to you about some ongoing incidents uh, over the past few days mm -hmm. uh, that we received some information that we want to follow up on by talking to you mm -hmm. uh, and your boyfriend. Uh, fiance. And, yeah, your fiance. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, and maybe some goings on in and around your neighborhood mm -hmm. uh, or your building. Uh, do you live with him there? Yes, at, uh, I do. Okay, so you live at eight, at. Uh, is a we, yeah, we do, but I do go home once a month um, for doctor's appointments, and we're planning a wedding, so weddings in New Jersey. So I'm at home once every month for about a week or two. So it's like I spend half my time here and half my time in New Jersey. Okay. And are you working right now? No, I'm not. I'm going to school in September, so. How old are you? 25. And uh, you're going to be going to school this coming? I'm September? going to medical school in the Caribbean in September. Okay. Uh, were you working previously? Um, not since before my back surgery, which was 2007. I've been looking for work in Boston for about a year and a half now. I have not found anything. Um, I can't. I can only do part-time work because I have so many back problems. Okay. Um, before that, I was working at a hospital in New Jersey after I graduated. College. Right. So. Uh, any part-time jobs, employment here and there? No. Oh, okay. Nope. Uh, and your boyfriend, what's his name? Philip. P H I L I P Markoff. M A R K O F F. Okay. And uh, how long has he lived up here? And uh, Sa same amount of time. August. August. Uh, actually, we moved into High Point. In August, and before that, he lived closer to school. He goes to BU Medical School, so he lived like in the Dorchester area, kind of. It's, it was close to the BU, like close to this area. Um, you know where in Dorchester? I forget the name of the street. It wasn't a good area. It wasn't close to the expressway. Or it was close to the red line, like just down the street, and the but there was like a bus. Terminal there, kind of okay. thing. So, and he lived there for a year. That's when he started medical school. So he's been in school. This is the end of his second year. He lived close to school that first year, and then he moved to Quincy with me okay. in August. Who had the apartment first? You or him? Quincy. Him. He he moved in first. He takes out student loans to pay for. It. I mean, that's how we're living right now. Okay. And that was in August? Yeah. So he moved to High Point in August. Uh, did he move into that apartment? Yep. Okay. You've been in the same apartment ever since you moved in? Mm -hmm. No movement between apartments? No. Okay. Does anyone else live with him or with you there? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, anyone used to live with him? Are you there? Nope. Never. Okay. He, I mean, when he first, when he, the first year of medical school, when he lived closer to school, he lived with a roommate named Mike. Um, that's all I know. I didn't live with him. I lived in New Jersey at that time. Do you know Mike's last name? Mike Green. And was that in the Dorchester address? Yeah. 
I don't think it was Dorchester. I think it might have been like Dorchester Ave. Is that is that close to here? Yeah, could be Dorchester. I mean, he yeah. Sure, record Lieutenant Detective Murder. For rent down there at High Point uh, uh, Circle, how much do you pay a month? You know, fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred dollars. And how, yeah. how about other expenses? I don't. I don't take care of any of that because I don't have a job. He. I mean, we take out. Lo- he takes out loans for everything. So it's. I think fourteen hundred plus just bills and then food and then you know I have some savings which I spend on food and that's it. Okay. That's what type of bills do you have that you're aware of? I'm not aware. I, like, I don't handle any of that, so I, I couldn't tell you. So, I mean, have you ever seen an electric bill come to the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill, yeah. Uh, electric bill? Okay. Any, any other bills? Cable? Uh, yeah, we have, like, a Comcast, so it was an internet, phone, and TV thing. They came once in, in August, when we moved in, and that's it. That's do you have any idea how much that is a month? Roughly, no. And how about uh, maybe a hundred, maybe maybe a little bit less than hundred. Okay. And how about vehicles? Have vehicles? He his vehicle, and then I have a Trailblazer, um, 2002. It's dead right now. It's been dead for a month since I last time I was in New Jersey. I was about to leave, and I went to go use my car, and it was. The battery was dead, so I called AAA. They came, they ran it, and I didn't go right then to get a battery, so it died the next day. I was going to go the next day and get a battery. So it's still sitting in the parking lot dead because I just came back, and we were going to, you know, deal with this today or tomorrow. Okay, so student loans, did he take out student loans also to pay for his um, for his medical school as well? or is, is Yeah, medical school, they give you loans for everything. They give you loans to live, to for school, so... I mean, be is expensive. They get, you know, they give you. He's just gonna have to pay all that back. Okay. And you said his vehicle's a what? It's um, the Toyota. What you pulled over? It was a Toyota Corolla. I think it's a 2002 also, silver. And what color is your trailblazer? It's like a um, a goldish, silverish. Champagne, I would call it, I guess. Okay. And you, you say uh, he takes care of the bills that come in? You like yeah. them the Comcast? And do you have phone service? Yes. Okay. What do you have for phone service? That, that's the Comcast. It's, it's the phone. You mean a cell phone? or? No, no, the phone service. It, it's Comcast phone? Yeah, Comcast internet. phone, TV, and Internet. We get like a three package. Okay. Okay. So whose name is that in? Is that in your name? Or His name. Okay. And uh, so your phone, TV, and internet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, how many computers do you have in the house? We have two laptops. Actually, he just bought a new one um, off of a student because his was, I stepped on his, it was broken. So he has, so now we have a broken one and two. Okay. When did he buy the new one? A few days ago. I don't know, I wasn't here for the past one, so he just told me this when I got home. So he had two, and now he has a new one mm-hmm. because he broke one? I broke it, yes. When, I did, stepped on, it? when did I break it? I, I stepped on it like two months ago, two, three months ago, and he's been using it, and then, like, there's black lines going all through it because I stepped on it. So. Did he throw it out when he got the new one? Or? I don't know. I think he still has it. Okay. It's and still in our house, yeah. Okay. It's still in our apartment. And how do you hook up to the Internet with that? Do you use uh, it's, um, cables or Wi-Fi? It's like a, yeah. Wireless router thing. Okay. So, you just came up here a few days ago? Yeah, Saturday night. I came up here. And that would have been what? Uh, 18th? Mm hmm. Yep. 18th around. Six o'clock at night. And 
and you were heading back to New Jersey? No. I, I was right now. We're, we were going to Foxwoods today. Oh, just I thought you said you were, going to, you, you were going to take care of the drill flavor today, I thought you said. N- yeah, we, we called AAA yesterday. They said they didn't have the battery, so we could call them today or tomorrow. We decided to go to Foxwoods today since it's, he didn't have school. And then... Um, well, we we were gonna call AAA tomorrow or whenever we got back to get the battery in my car. Does he have to go to school later this week? Yeah, he goes to school okay. every day. Okay. How often do you go to Foxwoods? Um, every once in a while. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, maybe once a month, twice a month. We stay maybe a night or two and come home. Sometimes, like, when I'm in New Jersey, he'll come and pick me up and we'll stay, you know, on the way since it breaks it up for me because I have back pain. So mm-hmm. kind of, so we'll stay there for a night and then, and then drive back to Boston. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do you have a cell phone? Yeah. What's that? 732-241-1316. I think it's already got that. Yeah. And uh, what's your boyfriend's cell phone? Um, gosh. 315-569. Um, <laughs> I would have to look. I don't, I don't, I, I don't memorize it because it's That's in my phone. So, phone yeah. So, I, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, and you go down to Fox with once or twice a month. That's yeah. where you're heading today. How long are you going to spend down just there? Just tonight. Just tonight. And you're going to head back to Boston after that? Yeah, back, back to Boston because he has school this week. Basically, he bought me shoes from there last time he was there, and we were going to return them. And he was, and we were just going to stay overnight because he got he they send him like deals on rooms, you know, every so often. Does he get those rooms uh, for a regular tenant runner? Does he get those rooms because he's like a preferred gambler, one of those types of things? Like um, I guess. I mean, they, they say they send them to everybody just because it's been a slow year. So yeah. they're just trying to fill up the rooms. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think they said send, like, my parents, you know, right. things in the mail. My parents have been there once in their life. So... You go down there about twice a month. Do, does, mm-hmm. do you play cards? Do you I play don't. Cards? I sit with him and watch him, but I don't. I don't gamble at all. And what does he play usually? He plays blackjack. And it's like that's it. For like a couple hours, and then you know we have dinner, and then that's it. That's basically what we do there. What kind of stakes? Any type of you know? What kind of oh, he has no money, so he's he's you know not. He's not gambling with a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. And when when you're out of town, mm-hmm. um, when you're out of town this past month, do you talk daily? Yeah, we talk a few times a day. Okay. And is that on the phone from the house, cell phone? Usually the house phone. Okay. I, I usually call him from the house phone. And he's always at home. I mean, texting. Texting, I text him. Okay. And you don't, you're not sure of the number you text, you just have them punched into your machine? Yeah, it's just spells, you know. Okay. And has, has finances, uh, how long has the financial situation been like this where he just takes loans to basically live? Since, since, he, started since he started medical school, because they don't, you know, you can't have a job while you're in medical school, basically. Right. I mean, this is how everyone lives. Either, you know, you're... You have rich parents who pay for your medical school or you take out loans. That's basically what it is. Okay. I think it needs to let Yes. And you're getting ready to go to medical school yourself? Yeah. When, when you did work, what did you do for work? I, I was a medical transcriptionist in a hospital in New Jersey, and that was in 2007. That wasn't even for a whole year. And that was where, in New Jersey? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You've never worked up here in Massachusetts no. at all? Never. Okay. I mean, I've been looking for jobs on Craigslist and, and whatnot, but haven't had anything. Haven't even gotten, you know, answers from people. Okay. And how about, um, how about your boyfriend? He... Did he, prior to going to medical school, did he, um, 
Was he working anywhere? Or? Uh, no. No, because he went right from college, undergraduate, to, to, medical school. to medical school. So he did not work in between. And where did he go to undergrad? Uh, University at Albany, SUNY Albany. We both went there. That's where you both went? Mm-hmm. So we met? Yeah. How long have you been dating? Um, it was my senior year, so I graduated in 2006, so it's been since 2005, I Three and a half, four years. And so the rent is like fourteen hundred. Food, cable. Mm -hmm. um, you have two vehicles. So we're talking somewhere in excess, or in, in the area of. I mean, would be fair to say between fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars a month just for basic living expenses. Mm -hmm. And student loans covers all that. Mm -hmm. And like I said, like I, I have savings which are gone now, which I used for food and stuff. You know, the past year. And so, on a day like when you get out of Fox was today, was the room that you were going to stay in completely, excuse me, mm -hmm. was the room that you were going to stay in completely comped, or did you have to pay a nominal fee? Uh, no, it was $79. They, they $79. gave us, yeah, they would give us a $79 rate. And then, I mean, he has like a card at home that says, you know, you get a, a free room each week in May, you know. But I think a bunch of people get that. I don't know why. I, I guess. So it was, you were going to stay one night for seventy nine dollars. Yeah. Um, you said you were uh, looking for work on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. Do you frequent? Um, Craigslist? I haven't done it since December because I've been concentrating on getting into medical school. So I mean, yeah, really so from this past December and then like a year before that, I, I was looking. I was doing like trying to find nanny jobs, stuff like that. I, I would, like, email people or email the Craigslist people. And, I mean, I got maybe one or two people got me back out of the hundreds. And, uh, and that is so, I'm, I'm a little bit older than you, obviously, so that Craigslist stuff. So mm -hmm. that, how does that work? Do you, do you apply for jobs right on? Um, there's people that, it's, it's, like a, it's like a newspaper classified that online. Yeah. So there's people who post jobs or whatever you're looking for housing you go and you click what whatever you want like i you know was searching for child care or something like that or something in the medical field so i would go and i would they would either have their email or there would be a craigslist email and the craigslist email would email the person you know your response so i would be like well i'm interested in this job here's my resume and they would send it to them. But, but nobody, like I said, nobody got back to me. Have you? Maybe one or two women did. And they were like, oh, well, you know, you're not good enough, so. <laughs> Have you posted your resume on Craigslist? No, I didn't. No, I just, I sent them in emails to people. Okay. I, I haven't sent my resume to anybody in, in years, except for these, like, these few women that I wanted to apply for nanny jobs. Like, I don't post it on monster.com. I don't post my resume or anything like that. Okay. Does anyone else visit him or uh, live with him at all? No. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, he, me and him, like, we're together 24 hours a day. Like, he, there's all, because during school, the, the professors, they put the lectures online, so you technically, you don't have to go to class and sit in class. Mm -hmm. You can be at home and watch the lectures, which is what he does. So we're together all the time. And whenever I'm at home in New Jersey, you know, this has been the longest time I've been in New Jersey this past month, and that was a month. And usually I'm just gone for a week or a few days. And when I am, I call him, and I call him on the home line, and he's at home. You know, it's it's not like I'm calling him on his cell phone and he's, you know, somewhere, all right, so somewhere else. So you were actually not in Quincy for the past month? Right. And today's the uh, 20th of April, so when was the last time you were in Quincy? The, my, I think it was the 23rd exactly. I had a doctor's appointment the 24th, so I think I went the day before the 23rd. And that's in February? No, right. March. February. February? February? I've been gone until for a month. So this is the longest I've been on. So you've been in New Jersey since February 23rd? 
Okay. February 24th. Um, so March, April. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. I haven't been gone for two months. We're April 20th today. It's April 20th. Okay. Okay. So I'm sorry. So I was home February 24th, maybe for a few days, and then the next month, right, March. So March. It was the end of March that I came home. My appointment was. It would have been a month from the 24th. So I think it was March 20th when I came home to New Jersey, March 20th, and then I came back now. So it was a month. I'm sorry, the February. Okay. Yeah. Is, have, have you been experienced any more um, financial trouble, or has, has your fiancé um, talked to you about experiencing any more financial trouble of late? Have things gotten easier? Has there been more money available? No. No? Not at all. Okay. I think I asked you, no one else lives with you. You both basically live in that apartment, correct? Right. But you spend uh, at least some portion of your time in New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. And no one else lives with your fiancé. Does he have any roommates or former roommates or best friends that, like, crash there or hang out there? No, we never have friends over, ever. I mean, like, since we've moved to Boston, you know, we, we don't have any group of friends that we hang out with. We He has, like, a few friends from medical school, which he sees, you know, very rarely. Mm -hmm. That's that's it. I mean, we've never had any friends come over to our apartment ever. Like, that's, I mean, basically maybe, you know, just family members. Does your family come up to visit a lot? No, my his mother has come up once or twice. His father's come up a couple times, and my parents came up once. Yeah. But other than that, if we were to go out with friends, we would meet them out in Boston somewhere, and you know, go out to dinner or something like that. I mean, the money thing, I don't know why you're asking me if it has gotten easier, but it's it's been tough this whole time. It's been like, you know, we're living dollar to dollar. Because they don't, they're not going to give you more money than, he, he's taking out the maximum amount of loans. And that's, you know, like we sh like we were only going to get this apartment this at an 8 high point Quincy if I got a job. And I never ended up getting a job because no one responded to me. And so it's been really hard. So he's been taking out the maximum amount of loans. Okay. So it's been very difficult. Has that added to the stress down, down the situation? Is it, I mean, financial stress is mm -hmm. not everybody. But I'm yeah, not I mean, not really because, I mean, you know, we, He's been dealing with it for two years. You know, we do what we can do, and, we'll, you know, eventually we'll have money and we'll pay, we'll pay them back, you know. Okay. I'm sorry. You moved into that apartment when? August of? I think, I think I was August. He might have been the end of July. And that was a 08? Yes. Excuse me? Yeah. And he moved in around July of 08? Yes, I think that's the end of July. We moved in about two weeks apart from each other. And when he was living in uh, Boston and Dorchester? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it was Dorchester. I think it was like South Boston or the Dorchester Ave. But it wasn't Dorchester. Do you know what T Station was near there? Was it was the red line. It was like, he was like walking distance. There was like a big intersection, you know, like a four or five way intersection, and Is there's the red line right there. He lived on that street. Yeah, okay. he lived right down that street. A bad, it was a very bad area. Does the Andrew Station sound familiar? Yeah. So it's right there. Yeah, right, right there. Andrew Square. That's what that he was like right down the street from Andrew Square on that, and he had a roommate. That that was his roommate, Mike Green. So I don't know. What does Mike do for work? Mike goes to graduate school. Is he a 
Not medical school, but but like a, he's a PhD student, so they he goes to the same school, so that they don't have a job. They don't have jobs. I mean, he takes out loans too. I think he actually gets paid. I think PhD students get paid to go to school. So. Okay, and how long did he live in Angel Square before he moved to uh, Quincy? A year. I mean for however long he was in school for, medical school. And when did That's he, the year before. So he started in, what, 06? Um, no, he graduated undergraduate in, in 2007, so he, May, uh, and then he moved in that summer. So June, July, August, I don't know when he moved in, but he moved in I, probably August, and then he started school in August of 07. Okay. When you lived in Boston, did you also have Comcast, uh, phone, mm -hmm. internet, data, cable, all that? Yeah. Okay. Did he have the same phone number? Did he take the phone number? Uh, no, he did not. No. He got a new phone number. And you got the new phone number when you moved to Quincy? We weren't going to get one. We were just going to use our cell phones, but we don't get good cell phone reception in our apartment, so we ended up getting the phone a couple months, I think, after Comcast, the, after the internet thing. Okay. And so that would have been in? I'm not completely positive, but I just remember that we were just going to use our cell phones, and that may have came a little bit later. And you moved in, Quincy, around July of 08, or mm -hmm. August of 08, you said? Right. Could it have been earlier than that? Moved in high point circle? Yeah. Earlier than July? Yeah. I don't think so, no. No. I think we got, I think we have to move out by this July, so I think we got it because I remember he wanted it as close as possible from the move out date of his other apartment. I think it was the end of July, and I think I moved in like a week or two later in August. Okay. You moved in a, what, a week or two later? After him. Okay. In August. Do you remember what his phone number was when he lived in Boston? No, I have no, no idea. Whose name was that? Actually, actually, you know what? They didn't even have, I don't think they had a phone. I think they just used their cell phones. They might have not even had a landline, to tell you the truth. I think they just had the internet and the TV. It was a contact. They didn't have a phone line. Because I, yeah. I never called him on that landline, so no, he didn't have a phone line. Sorry. Just when you talk about looking for work on Craigslist, have mm -hmm. you ever posted any other type of um, activity on Craigslist? The only, I've never posted anything. I've just responded to things. So it's like if a woman's posting, oh, you know, I'm the nanny for my three children, I'll, you know, email her. This is my resume. And that, that, that was a few times. That's it. I don't post anything myself. I respond to people's posts. Do you know if Philip has posted anything? Oh, no, 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 no. no. He doesn't show on Craigslist. He doesn't? No. He wouldn't have, like... I mean, he, he would... He is not... He doesn't... He's not going to find work or anything, you know? But would he have, like, maybe an old stereo? He's getting an iPod. Would he post it to Phil? Or... No. Or his old broken computer. He's not going to sell his old broken computer to anybody yeah, now. Someone might fix it. Yeah, I don't think so, no. 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 Okay. And do you know if anyone else has ever used your phone? And I, I mean, he tells me everything. He would probably tell me, you know, if I'm posting my computer on Craigslist. Like, so. Has is anyone ever used your address or phone number? Any friends from out of town have used your address or your phone number? When they, you know, uh, come here or anything like that, that you're aware of? I don't think, I mean, I don't think many people know our address, but we did send, like, we're having a wedding in August, so we did send save the dates out, so we, every week, put our return address on everybody's envelope. Right. All of our family, that's like a hundred people, so. How about your, how about your uh, home number? Our home number? I've given it to people. It's actually been a crazy number because 
this one day we were getting cell phone calls every five minutes, like Massachusetts cell phone. Like very, very sketchy all day. And, and we also all the time get random calls from people and we just wait into, at our, on our landline. And it's just an awful phone and, you know, we get lots of, you know, it's. What kind of sketchy calls? This one, um, this one person keeps calling. He sounds not right, like mentally not right. And he, you know, he's like, jibber jabber kind of talking and it's happened a few times then there was one day um and every five minutes we would get a different cell phone it, it would be say you know massachusetts cell phone number and it would be like every five minutes and it'd be a different massachusetts cell phone number and they'd be calling every and and we you know just stopped picking up and then we like finally i just said stop calling and you know were they asking for anything saying anything what, what would be the they, they, were, they were, like, asking for somebody, some random person. I, I don't even remember. He might remember the person's name that they were asking for. We get, I mean, we get, like, calls all the time asking for so-and-so, you know, yeah. so-and-so there, so-and-so there, you know. And, you and some of these sketchy? people. What do you mean by sketchy? I mean, well, I like, there's this mean, one, but... yeah, there's this one guy who's called a bunch of times asking for somebody, and he's, like, you know, He's, he sounds not right. He sounds like, you know, mentally impaired, um, you know, saying, you know, um, is mom there? You know, give me mom, like put mom on the phone and you start cursing and swearing and, you know, like that. And it's happened a few times and we'll say, you know, don't, you know, stop calling. And, you know, sometimes we just don't answer it. And it's from different numbers. Any of the calls have any any content about uh, threatening nature or sexual nature or anything like that? Not that I know of. I mean, some people have sounded like I can't really make out what they're saying, so they can. But we do get, a, I mean, what, an what? abundance of this one day. It was just cell phone. Every five minutes was a different cell phone number, which was very strange. And I'm like, we should do something about this. Shouldn't we, you know, call the Comcast or something? And he's like, no, don't worry about it. And the next day, nothing happened. It was just like. Okay. Sorry. How, how long ago was that? The last. I'd year. say about a month, a month and a half ago, a month ago. So it was last time before I left for New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. But but ever since we got this line, there were people calling all the time. Just random cell phone numbers, like, I think someone was asking for a nail salon, like, I, I don't, you know, just, it was like a bad number to have. We wanted to change it right away. Did, did uh, you, you said it kind of annoyed you that you kept getting these calls, mm -hmm. but your boyfriend just said, kind of, don't worry about it, did he seem to take it in stride? Well, he's like that. I mean, he's like he he's like maybe we should call Comcast or something, but we we never ended up doing that. Or he's just like you know just don't answer or you know pick it up and tell him stop calling you know or just stop answering. He just you know kind of blew it off like don't don't answer them anymore because I'm getting mad. I'm wanting to pick up and yell at these people, and he's just like you know just don't get worried about it. Anytime. I mean, it bothers him a lot too. Ever since the beginning, he's like, "This is this is the most awful te telephone number we've ever gotten." Like, you know, not just solicitors, it's people calling, like crazy people. In, in the last few weeks since you while you were away, mm -hmm. um, you know, has Phil told you he's run into any kind of problems with anything, either legal or any otherwise? Mm -hmm. Has he seemed the same uh, in the past couple of days since you've been with him? Yeah. He's never mentioned any activity that he's had any problems with anybody legally or with the police or anything like no. that. Can I ask what happened, what what this was all about, or? Well, uh, uh, we'd like to get a little more background first. W within the past few days, was there any point of time where you had difficulty getting in touch with him? No. Okay. And he was always available by cell phone? Or Our home phone. Do you text message a lot? 
I mean, we're text messaging all the time. Excuse me? We text message all the time when I'm in New Jersey, and I call him several times a day, so. Okay. And does he just have one cell phone that he text messages from? Just, does, he has one cell phone. He doesn't have, like, a work phone or mm-hmm. anything like that? What kind of cell phone is that? Um, it's a it's a Verizon BlackBerry phone. Does it look like a regular BlackBerry, like one of these? Or? No, it's like the smaller ones, the new ones, like the touch screen. Verizon has like a new one. They're smaller and they're... Does it open or something? Does it no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it just has like a touch screen. Does it get email over that too? Um, yeah, email comes through that, yeah. Text yeah, email. Every time he gets an email, it comes to the BlackBerry, so we can check his email. So he can get his home email on his BlackBerry. Do you know what his uh, email address is? Um, phil.markoff at gmail.com. It's not Philip, it's just Phil? Phil.markoff at gmail. At gmail? Yeah. Sure. And no one comes over to the apartment to use his computer to do any work or school work or anything like that? Mm-hmm. But like I said, this new computer was sold from, he bought it from a different student, so I don't know if that has anything to do with what, you know, you're asking, but... No, I, no one that I know uses his computer. I mean, he's home most of the day. It's just him. And when did he buy this computer? The, the new one? Yeah. Um, I think it's a, in the past week or two. While I was gone, I, I don't know. He just told me. He said he had to... Because his old one, which I stepped on, has black lines running through it. And he said he, it got to the point where I can't even see the screen. So... Yeah. What kind of computer is that that he has now, do you know? The new one? Yeah. It's a Dell Inspiron. I don't think it's that great, he said. And what was the old one? Um, gosh, I don't know. I you don't know if it was like a Compaq or an HP or... No, it's, it wasn't an HP. It wasn't a Mac. I have an HP. It wasn't a compact. Mm. What are some of the other ones? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's Acer or Acer. That's kind of one of the little bunch of ones, I think. Uh, the one that's broken is still it's in your house. I, I don't know. I don't know what he did with it. I mean... Can I ask what this is about yet or no? Sure. Okay. We're investigating some activity from the computer in your house mm-hmm. for online massage services. Online massage services? Yes. Someone's access to the computer in your home. There there have been calls asking, you know how I said about the nail salon? Mm-hmm. There have been calls from that guy saying, you know, massage, like, can I schedule a massage and nail, massage and nail service? We've gotten calls like that. That's the kind of, that's the question that I asked you. Were any of the calls explicit, either, you know, threatening in nature because or... These were just like three or four nature. times. No, just like, oh, can I schedule a massage, something like that. And how long ago was that? M- months ago. Months ago. Yeah. Two months ago, three months ago, six months ago, ten months ago. Four months ago. Look, I mean, what kind of, from his computer, are you saying, or my computer? I mean, I get massages. I book massages all the time because I have a bad back. I mean, that's what I, I do that, like, you know, twice a month I get massages. And hey, where do you get them? All over the place. I get, I've gotten them at Foxwoods when we go there. I've gotten them, you know spas around here. I guess I'm in New Jersey. But I always at like a, a, a beauty salon, health bar, something of that nature. Mm-hmm. Right? 
Right. You don't call up. No, no, no. Nobody comes over and you know sets up a massage table now. No, nor do you go to any. No, and he's never gotten a massage in his life. Do you book those appointments over your computer or, or do you call? Um, I usually I usually call. And when you when you're here, what places would you call? I'm here. Um when you're in Quincy. Every time I've went to a different place, I don't think I've gotten that many. Usually when I go home to New Jersey I get them there and I've gotten them at Foxwoods a bunch of times. So that's about it. Do you remember any of the places that you've called from here? Allure Day Spa. Allure Day Spa? No, I didn't even get a massage there. I think that was just there. I, I don't even remember. I couldn't tell you. I'm sorry. If, I mean, if I remember, I can always call you. So if we had activity from calling massages. I mean, I don't, I don't, I've looked up like massage therapy on my computer, like an internet search just to find a good massage ther therapist, but I haven't booked anything online. And when you look those up, does it just come back with web pages or does it link to uh, Craigslist or how, how does that work? I don't do anything from massage and Craigslist don't really go together so it would I would be like looking at spas like I would like Google like spa and Quincy and then it would and then I would click on the link and it would you know tell me about this the massage basically but like I said I don't really get massages in this area because I haven't you know and you've never been involved in any type of massage industry <laughs> no no. No, it's a question. Yeah, I know. So somebody wouldn't be calling you. For no, 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 no. But, but I told you this guy did call. And I think maybe the number used to be part of like a nail salon or something like that because the guy asked about a massage and then someone else called and asked about nail, nails. But I did tell Phil, I'm like, this guy just asked about, you know, he wants a massage. So it's very strange. So this... So I'm is saying. that could that well, that's that's what I'm saying. but but I mean you have never been involved in it and Philip's never been involved in any type no. of massage no. therapy or no. you know. No, you know, he's so. never even gotten a massage, so no. I mean, could that person who have been calling been part of that? I mean that's from my number. So we're trying to find out. What's the uh what's the phone number, the landline for your apartment? Um, six one seven I don't know. I I need my cell phone to six one seven. I I don't I don't know. I can't remember phone numbers. I'm sorry. He knows it. Phil knows it. Please pause for a second. My pen right now. I'm gonna go grab another pen. No, this is this one. You don't get one. Shut it up. Okay. We're gonna pause for a second. Three forty six p.m. You want a glass of water? Five p.m. by my watch. Sergeant Dan Duff. Uh, we're back in the room now. Uh, Megan, I asked you if you want a glass of water. You declined, right? Right. Are you sure you don't want a glass? I'm sure. Okay, it's fair to say, Megan, that for Lieutenant Detective Murray, for the record again, it's fair to say that during the break you went to the bathroom when the female officers walked down to the bathroom. Yeah. And we told you that you know you've asked us a couple of times, kind of what it's about, and we're kind of okay. explaining to you that um, there's some activity we believe that emanated from your apartment relative to computer activity, correct? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I mean, how do you know it's from our apartment? Could it be just through a Comcast, through, well, you know, any computer or... Something that we've, we've, we've fallen back <coughs> as best as we can, uh, and we have a Comcast account, correct? Right. And that's in Philip's name? Right. And having a computer account is like having a phone number. There's a, there's a number right. assigned to you. Right. Do you know anything about computers? Not really. Okay. There's a thing called an internet protocol address. Yeah. It's like your computer's phone number. Yeah. And uh, every account, every uh, uh, person with an account has an ID right. number. Now, can 
people, um, you know, like, hack into that. You know, like, people do that with computers all the time because it's well, not understanding. I don't think they can hack into it so much as theoretically uh, someone could access it from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have a static uh, number, which is your your fiancé's I mean, could ID. it be our phone number? That No. No, oh, it's, it's, okay. your, it's your IP address. Oh, okay. What, what we can tell you is if someone has accessed, uh, um, someone has a accessed Craigslist from your apartment. Oh, well, um, actually, let me clarify that. Uh, okay. Someone's accessed uh, an email account from the IP address associated with your apartment mm -hmm. uh, and uh, made some emails to someone. Mm -hmm. And set up a date. And okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to look at the picture mm -hmm. see if you recognize the individual in the picture. Where is this? I'm, I'm not asking where okay. it is. I'm asking if you recognize the individual in the picture. That looks like Phil. That looks like Phil? Yes. Okay. okay. I'm going to ask you to look at another, another picture. Who is that? I cannot tell. Okay. Does it look like anyone you recognize? Um, it, it could look like a lot of people I recognize. Okay. How about that one now? That may be Phil, may not. I mean, that guy looks heavier than Phil. Okay. And just look at it. Those aren't his shoes either. Okay. How about the jacket? Phil on a leather jacket that yeah. was that? Pardon? Yeah. Okay. Have you seen Phil with that leather jacket on recently? Um, he wears it. Okay. And um, when you look at that picture there, the first one, you said it looks like Phil. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we just know which ones and which times? Yeah. Which We're going to look at the first one that you said looks like Phil is a photo that is listed as... Camera 264. Camera 264. And it has a date on it of 4-14-09 at... Mm -hmm. 1006, it looks like 44. Is that fair to say? It's got a little green dot and it's in and it's uh, encased in a um, sheet protector. Sheet protector, correct? Mm -hmm. The second photo that I had you look at uh, is a photo of the uh, best way to identify it is it has a uh, sign in it that says, it looks like it says Haru, H A R U, correct? Mm -hmm. The person getting on an escalator and you said it, that's the one that looks like a lot of people, is that correct? Mm -hmm. And the last photo that I've asked you to look at is camera 264 4 and it looks like it says 10 06 45 mm -hmm. p.m., correct? And you stated that that looks like Phil. Mine was the 14th. What day was that? Was that last uh, week? That was Today, last week on Tuesday. Tuesday night. So you, you believe that, that that person in his photo number one looks just like Phil, is that correct? You can take it out of the sheet protector if it's if the glare uh, bothers you. It looks similar, okay. but he does not have those shoes. Okay. And the back guy looks heavier. Okay. But he doesn't have that. He doesn't have that jacket. He has a similar leather jacket. He does have a leather jacket. Okay. But those aren't his shoes. Okay. And can you tell what kind of shoes those are? In the photo. Uh, they just look like big black. I don't know. They, they don't look like shoes he has. Okay. I know, you know, all the shoes. He wears New Balance sneakers 99% of the time. Does he own a pair of shoes like that that he just doesn't wear? Not that I know. Not that you know? No. Okay. Where, can I ask you where that was, though? Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Can I just ask you to look at one other photo? This is a photo outside. It's camera 222 outside of a tea station. Is that individual look familiar to you? Uh, it looks a little bit like him. Okay. Not exactly, no. Okay. That, he looks heavier. Okay. And is it, if the photo was more clear, like if you, this is obviously a photo that's taken off some type of a digital image. Mm -hmm. If the photo was clearer, do you think that might help you? Uh, no. It wouldn't help you? No. I mean, he lo that looks heavier than Phil, so I, I don't know.
And I just have one more um, I'm going to ask you to look at. This one is dated 4-1409 at 10-04. It says camera 12. And I just ask you to look at that photo. You you looked at the photo I noticed and you kind of made a little face behind the that Yeah, well the hair looks different, so yeah. I don't know. Um, where was that again? Did you say? Uh, at a tea station. Well, that the, last one, one the last one was at a tea station. No, uh, sir, the last one was not. At a tea no, the, la the last one was inside the lobby of a uh, of a uh, hotel. Oh, okay. okay. The Marriott. Yes. So what, which Marriott was that? Marriott in Boston. Oh, okay. Copy Square. Have you seen any of these Marriott photos? Have you been watching the news the last couple of days at all? No. Have you read any of the Boston newspapers? No, because I've been in New Jersey. So okay, I... but you've been back since Oh, the, the guy, my, my mom actually told me there's a guy, you know, going around in, to hotels. Right. Right. So what I'm asking you is, is we're following the lead, mm -hmm. you know, from the IP address in your apartment, mm -hmm. okay, that made a date with an individual at a hotel, and then the first photo I showed you is mm -hmm. an individual at that hotel that showed up at that time that the date was made, and you told me that it looks like Phil, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. If I showed you that picture on a digital image that yes. was somewhat more clear, would that help you? It might. Okay. Would you be willing to look at that on a, on a computer sure. if I showed you on a digital, digital image? Okay. I mean, so what does this massage therapist have to do with the guy well, some killing people, killing the women? Well, there's, there's, there hasn't been women killed, okay? There's, uh, there's only one person killed. And it was a massage therapist, you said. Well, or no? No, we didn't say that. Didn't say that. Oh. We, when we asked you, when I asked you, the records from Tenor Murder, I had asked you about any, you, you told me that you had got some crank calls into your apartment. I asked you if any of those calls were mm -hmm. either threatening or sexual or anything else in nature, and you said that they were none like that, that there was a person that well, they, needed to be mentally yeah. unstable. Right. Correct? And then I asked you if... Um, uh, there had been any calls relative to massage or anything like that. You said, well, you know, yeah, there were a couple of calls that people started asking for massage, which, you know, was kind of a strange call. Uh, to yeah. Get one's house. Yeah. And, and that and the nail thing. I the mean, nail thing. Yeah. Okay. And we then you asked us basically why you're here. We told you that a a. Uh, An email. Was an email sent. was sent from an IP address in your apartment, okay, to set up a, an appointment with a masseuse at a local hotel. Mm -hmm. And the time and time frame of uh, that appointment coincides with these surveillance photos of the individual. Okay, and who's the masseuse? That's, that's something that we'll get to the bottom of, we'll okay. get to the bottom of. Okay. Okay? But, you know, at this point, um, we showed you some surveillance photos, and you believe it looks like filming the photo, all right? So, coincidentally, there's someone at this hotel at the time of the appointment who looks like Phil, mm -hmm. and it appears that the appointment was made from the computer in your apartment. That's, that's kind of a big coincidence. Wouldn't you agree with me? Yes. Okay. I mean, could there have been a million guys, you know, well, going well, to the I guess our question is, has Phil mentioned anything to you about having any problems? Like, when the police went to pull you over today in the highway, did Phil say anything to you? No, he was scared to death. He was like, oh, my God, what's happening? What's happening? Just as I was, you know. And, and the last thing so. I'm just going to show you is just a composite sketch that was made up. Do you recognize that individual? Does that look like anybody you know? No. Doesn't look like anybody? No. And that's a composite sketch labeled L.E. Eastman 41709. Uh, okay. So Phil has never mentioned to you that he's uh, called for any type of massage service or made any email accounts from any kind of type of massage service. And he's never mentioned to you that he's been to any of the uh, Boston hotels, such as the Marion Copley. Hmm. I'm sorry, he's... No, no. Okay. 
And when you were pulled over today, he never mentioned anything to you about the police? No, no, he was scared to death. He was scared to death. He said, what is, he's, what's happening? Basically, we turned to each other and said, what is happening? Okay. I mean, um, um, we're still scared to death, obviously. Okay, and the, the, the other thing is, um, you, you said you were willing to look at a, a digital picture, because obviously these are, we print them off the computer, and they, it's like kind of printing off your computer at home. Mm -hmm. if, if we brought you to, over to a uh, computer and popped in a disk and let you look at a digital picture, you think that might in, in, enable you to say one way or another? I think, I think those pictures were fine. I, They're fine? Yeah. And they look like Phil? Um, some of them do, some of them don't. Okay. I, I don't think he has those shoes. Okay. That guy looked heavier. So would that you hair looked longer, so I, I don't would know. Would you prefer not to look at the, the digital picture? Yeah. I, you, you don't want to? No, I don't want to. Okay. And just for the record, some of those photos had a time on them of April 14th, 09, mm -hmm. at about a little past 10 p.m. You weren't in the Boston or Quincy area at that time, were you? I was in New Jersey last New week, Jersey? but I, I can look on my phone to see if there's text messages or, or phone calls to him or the home. Okay, and, and just to, to kind of bring Sergeant's Duff's question into line, you've been in New Jersey for about a month, correct? Correct. Okay. A little bit less than a month, maybe. Okay, and at least when you left a month ago, you never saw Phil wearing those type of shoes. Is that, would that be fair right. to say? Have you noticed if if he has any new shoes? He, he does not have new shoes. I monitor all the shoes. I, p I pick out all the shoes. You them. Yeah, I, I've seen them. I I've looked, you know, like I see in the apartments the ones that I don't like. I hide from him. So I mean, like I know where all of his shoes are, okay. basically. All right. Sergeant Duff, do you have any further questions at this time? Uh. You say that Phil is a homebody, more or less. Right. We both are. I mean, we're in the apartment 24-7. I mean, he doesn't have a life because he's in medical school. Okay. And That's you also said you weren't at the apartment for more or less the past month. Right. Uh, but I can tell you that every single night I've talked to him on the home phone. You call him on the home phone? On the home phone. Okay. And you also said that he can take his classes at home? He can. The professors mm -hmm. will lecture online so he can access it from his computer. No, so he, I'm, I'm sitting right there and he's sitting right there just watching his lectures. So. Does he have to watch those lectures at a particular time or can he pull them? No, he can do it whenever he wants. So he can, if they're in the morning, he can watch them at night, okay, which is so what he does a lot. He can access them through BU and click on a link and right. watch today's lecture at any time you right. want. And uh, you weren't there for the past month. Would there be anyone else that who, who was a very good friend of his who might be able to... Uh, I mean, he doesn't friends. have any great friends. He has a couple friends at BU that I don't even know that well. But, I mean, like I said, we don't hang out with people that much. We don't have money to go out. So it's like we're, we're at home most of the time. And just speaking on the money issue, let me just go back a little bit. You mentioned that you go to Foxwoods a couple times a month. Mm -hmm. Do you know approximately how much he spends gambling? Um, a couple hundred. If he's up, he'll keep playing. But if he loses money, he'll stop. So he's not going to walk out of the casino with less than he came in with. So if, if so, what I'm saying is, like, you know, if he's up, he'll keep betting. If someone were to describe Phil as a, a moderate to heavy gambler or Phil were to describe himself as a moderate to heavy gambler, would you be surprised by that? Yeah. Okay. So I, I don't think he's a heavy gambler at all. I think he just, he just, I mean, he likes to do it. That's like one of his hobbies. So, you know, he'll go and do it every once in a while and he has fun doing it. And so. Does he ever complain to you about gambling problems and losing money? And no. Anything? I mean, I'm I'm usually right next to him. I think he's only been to Foxwoods once when I wasn't with him, and I mean, I'll be right next to him, and I'll be like, all right, let's stop, you know, if it's been, you know, an hour or two. So. Do you know not, when it was that he went to Foxwoods without you? Um. No. 
I mean, was it a month ago, six months ago, a year ago? Just a Maybe a couple months ago. A couple months ago? So that would have been around February? I, I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not very good with the well, would he have spent the night down there by himself? No, he definitely not. Because he, I, I, because he told me that he was going to Foxwoods, and then I called him, you know, and I heard all the, you know, Foxwoods around him, and then he called me from the home phone when he got home. I mean, he tells me where he's going, when he's going to be there, and when he's going to be home, and then he'll call me from the home phone, so I know he's there, you know. Okay, and you mentioned that Phil has a leather jacket similar to the leather jacket you see in the photos. He has a leather jacket. Do you, do you know where it is? Do I know where it is? Yeah. Is it at home now, or is it in the car, or? Um, it's probably at home, because I don't think he wore it out when we were going today. But okay. And did you, did you bring any type of an overnight bag or any type of? Yeah, we have, or? we have luggage in the trunk of our car. Okay. Of his, of the Toyota that we got okay. pulled over in. And That's was that just stuff for overnight? Yeah. Do you know if the leather jacket is, is in the car? Did he, did he I don't think so because okay. it's warmer out now. I don't think he'd wear it. How about um, how about ball caps? Have you ever seen Phil wearing a ball cap? He, he a has them, but he never does. I I don't like them on him, so I, I tell him not to. It's so he I haven't seen him wear like a baseball cap in you know over a year. Any any of the ball caps that he has, uh, do any of them stand out to you? Or is any particular team? Is he a Red Sox fan? Is he? He doesn't uh, like the Red Sox. He does. <laughs> Yankees. He's he, he kind of likes the Yankees, not too much. I think he likes the Orioles. Okay. Um, I, I've never seen him wear a baseball cap with a baseball team on it though. Okay. I've seen him wear like I don't, I don't even I haven't seen him wear a, a cap any, in any, any year. Any of the schools hats, any of like S O N Y or B U or any of those type of hats? No, no, any, no uni, no B U caps. No. Any insignia? Is any from recall? Mm-hmm. How about a firearm? Have you ever seen Phil with a firearm? No. Never. Never. And if and if there was a firearm in your house, would you be aware of it? I would. I would. And he said you monitor his shoes. Do you <laughs> go through any of his other stuff to see? Yes, yeah, so I well, I mean, he's very open about everything. Right. So he doesn't care if I'm, you know, searching the apartment or stuff. So I know about everything okay. that's going on. How about the car? Would you be familiar with what's in the car or in the trunk of the car? With what with what's in his car? Yes. Yeah. Um, because when he picked me up from the train station, you know, put my luggage in it and today when we were going he put our luggage in it. I mean, I think, I don't think there's much in there, except for a lot of you right now. Okay. Okay. I have no further questions. Uh, just one thing. I mean, you. is this, do you think this is a guy that's been in the hotels, or is, well, is, this, well, yeah. is there like a million people that this could be, because this is very worrisome, you know? Well, I can understand your concern. I, I think, I think you know, one of the things that's most worrisome for us is that, a an online email was initiated from mm-hmm. an IP address in your apartment. Mm-hmm. The individual that we believe that showed up to complete that online massage or date is the individual in the picture. And the first picture you looked at, you thought he looked quite similar to Phil. Okay, and then... Okay. So, for us... But does this have to do with the masseuse? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yes. okay. And you've been with Phil for a couple of years now, and you're engaged? Yes. And you love him? Yes, I do. Okay. Would you try to protect him if he did something wrong? Would you lie for him? I would not lie for him if he did something like this. No, I wouldn't. Something like what? Like like what you're telling me, if he's out killing people. I don't think we ever actually said that. I don't know what happened to the masseuse. Can you tell me what happened to the masseuse? In one of the instances, they've been robbed, and in another instance, they've been killed. Okay. Okay, I just, I would never, ever, ever think he would ever do something like that, ever. Okay. That's being honest. Like, I, you know, he, he doesn't get angry often. He's not an angry person. He's a medical student, you know. He, there's... 
And, and, you know, sometimes things happen where, you know, the, the intention is not to harm anybody. The intention right. is to, for financial gain, and sometimes right. other things happen where, you know, actually... No, he, he complains about money all the time, that, you know, we have no money. So he's not going to rob somebody. That's not how he's going to go about getting money. He'll go to the casino and try to win money. He's not going to rob somebody. Does he win a lot? Um, sometimes. Does he lose sometimes? He does lose sometimes. If he loses, we go home. If he keeps winning, then... Okay. And the way casinos usually work is the odds are in their favor. They usually win more often than the, the player does, correct? Right, right, so right. Really he play. does I mean, he. if he wins, he doesn't win that much, but... No, so but if you ever had any... I'm sorry, Dan. If you would have to characterize how he plays, does he beat the casino most of the time? No, so no, he breaks yeah, even. No. He, he breaks even usually. I mean, if he, he he'll win m- more than most people, I think. But you, you mentioned his cell phone and, and some of the bills that you have. Do you pay your own cell phone, or does he pay and that as well? Uh, my parents do. Your parents do. Mm-hmm. How about his? His parents do. Okay. And at any time, has any of the services, any of your services, been cut off? Were you any? Yeah. Yeah. I've um, when I was home last, about a month ago, um, the BlackBerry he has, he pays for internet service on it. He wasn't getting internet service on it, so he went to Verizon, and I guess they fixed it. I don't know if they completely fixed it. I think he still, but for like a month or two, he wasn't getting internet service on the on the BlackBerry. And at any time, have you used any type of, uh, you know, uh, phone cards or... or um you know, phones that you just buy minutes for, you know, what they call them, like the minute phones at any of these, you know, drug stores or anything like that. No, have, you ever seen, have you ever seen any of those around the house? No. Was Never. there ever a time when his BlackBerry was completely out of service? No, just, just like I said, when I was home last month, he was having these problems where he wasn't getting the emails, he wasn't, he, he paid for the Internet service on the BlackBerry, and he wasn't getting it. So he went to Verizon twice. Um, I think Verizon fixed it. They said if it keeps doing this, you know, come back and they'll send him a new phone. So I don't know what happened because that's when I went home. So, but I know that's that's what happened. Right. I have no further questions. Uh, no further questions. No. Would you be willing to, if we uh, do have some other questions to come back in for an issue? Sure. I mean, is there any reason for me to be, like, scared to go home with this person? Uh, <laughs> Might be outside? At, at this time, we're going to make some decisions. We're going to we're gonna actually, we don't know what's going on outside this room. So we're gonna like, I, I just... Hey, do you have any reason to fear him? No, not at all. But I'm just... Are you? You're worrying me. Well, I can see. This is a very <laughs> serious business. And, you know, we don't mean to worry you. We don't mean yeah. to alarm you in any way. This is pretty serious. And, mm-hmm. um... You know, that's what we do. We investigate homicides. Here. Right. I mean, are there other people that rock this hotel that could have done this? So That's why we have an ongoing active investigation. Okay. okay. And okay. I'm I'm, I, I, no, I'm just wondering if, if he's one of two or one of, you know, 30. Well, all, all I know is, 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 you know, just following an investigation logically the way that we do, you know, a, a, an online internet date, so to speak, or, or appointment was made from a computer in your apartment mm-hmm. at the same time that an individual that resembles your fiancé shows up at the hotel where the crime occurred. Okay, it was at the hotel mm-hmm. where the crime occurred. So, I think, you know... I mean, because my mom was, like, worried. She's like, you're going up to Boston. Don't be going, you right. know, into hotels. So right. that's where I know it from. So, now... So I, I will, you know, we will try and answer questions you have. I'll leave you my card and Sergeant Duff's card, and, you know, we'd probably like to talk to you one more time at least. And, um, you know, uh, if you wanted to do that, that would be great. I'm sure there's some questions that we either forgot to ask okay, you or Okay, and who's ask questioning him right now, do you know? Or is I think he he's finished. He's done, okay. As far as I know, but again, we're inside this room, so I'm not sure. And I'll grab you. I know we introduced ourselves. I really don't expect you to remember our names. That's why I'm going to give you my card. And I'll get one when we get out of the room. Okay, there you go.
421 p.m. by my watch. Thanks for thanks for your time. If you like this type of content and you'd like to support what I do, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, and also consider supporting me on Patreon. There you'll be able to find hundreds of notorious crime stories, exclusive testimonies and video footage, plus it only costs $5 per month.